Hey, good morning, guys. It's sunny today, so I thought maybe my internet service would be better. Uh, real briefly, I want to discuss kind of how to wrap up this fencing unit. So on our objectives for today, I want you to watch this screencast, which I hope you're doing, and then evaluate some ag fence in your area. So if that you live close to a farm, if you live on a farm, if there's one near you and you can do so by avoiding people, uh, go out there and take some pictures of the fencing job. Um, and then I want you to upload those to a doc and evaluate what we see. So what do I mean by evaluate? And I'll put this uh, in the doc for you to upload, but this is a set of pictures that I took of fencing near my house. So we have an H brace. That H brace is properly installed by having our tension wire going upward from the side of the fence that's being pulled. The width between each post is eight feet. Um, this installer has elected to leave the rod in place so that we could perform maintenance and tighten that brace if that had ever got uh, to a point where it was sagging. Instead of using barbed wire, uh, lots of horse farmers might uh, fasten lumber at the top, and that's just going to keep horses from pushing down on the wire and not injure their neck or skin. On the installation process as well, we see that on every horizontal run of wire, there is a staple that's been installed. These staples have been driven in completely. Um, this is not a high tensile wire, as you can tell. The knot just wraps around each, each vertical wire wraps around the horizontal. The end has been tied off and stapled. So we could see here that um, we are gonna get a great amount of tension when it comes to actually pulling this wire and keep it nice and tight. One thing I would criticize about this fence job is the splice. This is not a splice that I would perform. What we see here is the loop technique, which is fine and it's functional. Um, it just doesn't give as nice of an appearance. You can see we've got this gap. They kind of got lazy here with it, but um, it is performing as it should. So uh, as you are taking your pictures out and about today on this nice weather day, look for those things. I'll outline them in a document. The uh, bracing style and the tension wire, how is it installed, um, the wrapping of the wire on the ends to anchor it in place, the stapling, and then if you see a splice, um, how is that splice job? Um, if there's barbed wire, is that barbed wire tight? Is that fence still tight? Um, if that you aren't able to make it out or you don't have a uh, example of ag fence around you. I'd rather you didn't do chain link fence or something in your yard uh, just because it's not going to uh, be set up the same way as ag fence we've been talking about. But if you don't, I'll have a set of questions you can answer in another document and then just share with me, which will wrap up this whole unit. I appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.